I'm Catherine, I'm 42 years old. I was diagnosed when, um, when I was 41, so in the start of 2020. So I'm Sky. I'm currently 32. I found out when I was 25 that I carry the BRCA1 gene. Yeah, so it's been a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's been a lot. <laughs> So how did you come about like finding out that you had the gene? Uh, okay, so my father passed away in 2019 of mm. cancer. The form from um, their hospital up in New South Wales. At the bottom it said all family members should possibly get tested for this mm. gene mutation. So they handed it to us and I went, well, all right then. <laughs> Yeah, did blood tests and came back with the gene mutation. I think when I was about uh, 15, my auntie was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I think yeah. that just led to a lot of investigations being done. And yeah, yeah when I was 25, I found out. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, so it was a bit of a shock being quite young yeah. and finding out you have the gene because you're not thinking of mastectomies and yeah, no, getting your own, like, ovaries out and all of the things that come with it, reproduction and yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was a bit of a shock. So obviously finding out for yourself about having the BRCA1 gene mutation, you've also now got to tell family members. Mm. How did the rest of your family react to the yeah. news? Well, I think because I was really young at the time, my mum came with me and my sister came with me to the appointment to find out if I had or didn't have the gene. Mm. And I was fine in the appointment. As soon as that appointment finished, I just burst into tears and it yeah. was just awful. Mine but, was about an hour later. It yeah. kicked in and went, okay. <laughs> It's just that aftershock, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so when I found it, I, I took my mum and sister as well, mm. along as well. and. Um, None of us were surprised that we were going to come out with this gene because we've got so much cancer in our family. Then we told the rest of the family and everyone was very supportive and some, all my aunts and uncles then went off and got tested. Mm. It's about good though, it. yeah, because some people yeah. can be really apprehensive about getting tested because yeah. maybe that thought of knowing it could be a positive just causes so much more anxiety, so yeah. the not knowing is more comfortable for them. but. At the end of the day, I think everyone should get tested if they think that they yeah, have some definitely. sort of risk factor. Yep. And it just makes sure that you can then find a good team to work with and look after you and make sure you do get your testing done regularly. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's right. How did you find out about the BRCAP trial? Mm. Um, it was just in one of my consultations, they were just saying there were a couple of options out there. It's so exciting to just have the option of doing this trial because, yeah, I didn't even know any other options yeah. prior to them telling me about this. And like, I know it's not going to necessarily change my decision about what I need to do mm. with getting a mastectomy and everything. But the fact that future generations may not have to go through this sort of stress yeah. and anxiety. Yeah, if it saves having surgeries, because mm. that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it was because the um, I researched <laughs> the surgeries mm. and it was a bit horrifying to see the pictures of yeah. people. It's like, oh, so as soon as she said, do you want to do this instead? This BRCA P trial, I went, okay, mm. that's five years at least. I don't have to worry about surgeries. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of scary. So I think if anyone has the opportunity to be involved in a trial like this, um, why not? <laughs> like, exactly. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the like any potential side effects that we were told about in terms of the injection, they're nothing compared to the had, potential benefits. Any, well, if I'm getting the drug, I don't know, no, but I haven't yeah. had any side effects of anything, so which is good. Mm. Yeah. Neither. <laughs> yeah. I think the biggest fear would be getting cancer, obviously. Mm. Um, then the second after that would be having the surgeries. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know, mainly would be getting cancer and, and then basically having to tell the family because that would be hard because it's hard to cry. <laughs> oh, just because we've just got so much cancer. Mm. 
Sorry. I think it does that though. It, it, you see, you, you're fine and you're fine and you're fine and then something can just come up and it just just tips you a little bit. It's it's. I feel like we do that a lot though. I don't know if you experience the same thing, but I feel like we do kind of get to that point where you do laugh it off a little bit and you think, well, huh, just going to my other MRI. Yep. Yeah, just going to my just... next appointment and you just try and, yeah, if you don't laugh, you cry sometimes. <laughs> So yeah. I think it's just so yeah. soon after my father dying. It's just mm. like I'm doing this for me, but doing it for the family. <sighs> yeah, sorry. That was one of the things why I, jo I joined because I thought, how cool is it? Because it's going to help not just us, not just Victorians or Australians. It's actually going to help mm. worldwide. It plagues so many people's lives and it causes so much stress and just yeah, it's, it's so hard. So to have this and to have the potential that other people may not have to go through these sort of feelings and it's, it is an incredible feeling to yeah. know that we're a part of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. I honestly can't believe that we're so <laughs> close have such similar histories and just are going through exactly the same yeah. thing just 20 minutes down the road exactly <laughs> exactly yeah mm. yeah it's good to meet you <laughs> it's been nice nice to hear your story yeah it's, nice yeah, to hear yours sorry to yeah. hear what happened as well it's stressful it is yeah. yes but yeah like you said you gotta laugh mm. or cry mm. <laughs> <laughs>